Timothy Chalamet being thirsted over by female celebs. Number 1. The first female celebrity on the list is Jennifer Lawrence on Entertainment Tonight while promoting her movie Red Sparrow. When Jennifer was asked who she would like to seduce, she said Timothy Chalamet. She didn't realize he was so young but he is so so hot. She added that she'd wait for him to get to 30. Timothy, I'm waiting for him to get like a little bit older, you know, like you know, buttering him Taste up. Taste him right now. And then <laughs> like a pig for slaughter. Yeah. And I'm going to swing right in there as soon as he's like 30. <laughs> Fuck it, we're all going to die. Just tell him to wait. So, so talented and hot. So he's old enough to say that, right? He's, he's over 18. Soul. Yes, he is. Okay. He's 22. It's what fine. if I was They're like, not... he's hot? And he was like 15. <laughs> Number 2. Next, we have Millie Bobby Brown during an Instagram Live where she was asked who her celebrity crush is. She confessed that her celebrity crush is Timothy Chalamet after she watched his movie the other night. She kept praising how talented he is. Timothy Chalamet? I mean, listen, Timothy Chalamet is just like... Amazing. But that's because he's so talented. I watched a movie of his the other day on the plane and I was like, oh my god, so talented and I think it's just like, I think I was crushing on his talent. So there you go. Number 3. Now we have Elizabeth Olsen while answering the web's most searched questions on Wired. The question came up that where did Elizabeth and Timothy Chalamet meet? She said she just bought Timothy Chalamet a Netflix t-shirt because she's a big fan of him and he's a little dream of a human. Um, I just bought a Chalamet and Netflix t-shirt because I'm a big fan of his and I don't know him. I took a picture with him at the Indie Spirit Awards. He's a little dream of a human. Number 4. The next clip is when Timothy Chalamet photobombed Margot Robbie at the 92nd Academy Awards. After he photobombed, she started blushing and it was one of the cutest moments at the red carpet. Timothy Chalamet, who brought a huge smile to nominee Margot Robbie's face as she posed for cameras from around the world. Number 5. During an interview with Access, Timothy Chalamet and Zendaya were seen singing praises for each other. While promoting their movie Dune, Zendaya couldn't stop gushing over him and kept complimenting him. See it for yourself. I mean, you can wear anything. No. You're just, he's like no, a cool guy. No, he can the like, opposite. Vice versa. Boom. What do you want? Glasses on the carpet? No. Boom. What do you want? No, Sparkle? No. Do you want floral? Do you no. want color? What do you want? I can, whatever you need. Got it. Boom. No, this is number, this is like number one in the world. Literally. <laughs> like. Number six. While answering the question of fans on Instagram Live, Selena Gomez showed what Timothy Chalamet was eating and then complimented him saying, looking like a whole snack. I guess whoever he works with couldn't get over him. Come to New Zealand, Timothy. I would love to go to New Zealand. Show the food. Looking like a whole snack. Did somebody say that? No, I didn't. Number 7. Next on the list, we have Sorsha Ronan in an interview on Access where she told when girls asked her about Timothy Chalamet, she'd tell them how great of an actor he is and they'd get bored. But then she would tell them that his eyes were amazing and they would get mesmerized and say, are they? Whenever any girl asks me about Timmy, I'll start to like talk about how great an actor he is and they're like kind of bored and then I just go, and you know, his eyes are amazing and they're like, are they? <laughs> Number 8. Moving on, we have Greta Gerwig in an interview with Danahan Klein discussing about casting the actors for her movie Lady Bird. Greta said that she saw Timothy Chalamet in a play in New York before casting him. She also added that it was an incredible experience for her. Truly, he's an incredible human being as well. And Timmy, um, Timothy Chalamet. I'd seen him in a play in New York, and it was actually, I cast him before he made Call Me By Your Name. So he made Call Me By Your Name and then Lady Bird. Boom, boom. One, two. And, um... Number 9. Again, we have Greta Garwig in an interview for her film Little Women, where she keeps praising how amazing Timothy Chalamet is. 
Don't you think no one would have gotten so much lauding from their director at this point as Timothy did? Well, I loved working with him on Lady Bird. Um, Timothy is a, a very... He's so talented, he's so smart, but he's also very sensitive and very... Um, you know, he's a hard on his sleeve kind of guy, and so is Lori. I mean, he's not um, too cool for school, and that's one of the things I love about him, is um, he's very heart forward, and he's very passionate. Number 10. During an interview, Sorsha Ronan couldn't stop gushing over Timothy. She explains how the first intimate scene with him was like heartbreak, awkward and beautiful at the same time. She was overwhelmed by how he portrayed his character. Awkward, the way Timmy in particular played it, and he sort of didn't know what to do with his body, and all he wanted to do was be close to him, but he kind of had to gradually make his way over to him, and there was something about that, like, uncertainty that was so beautiful. Number 11. In the next clip, you'd see how his fellow stars keep complimenting him. Laurie Metcalf added that he is so charismatic that he pulls all the positive energy, and he deserves it too. He's, he's, a looked, dream he's a dreamboat. He has that kind of energy that draws you in. Yeah, you know, yeah. He's yeah. so charismatic he that he he pulls in all positive energy. I know. You know, and 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 uh, and, and deserves it too because that's what he throws out mm -hmm. into the world. Number twelve. Now we have Ariana Grande on the show with Jimmy Fallon, where he asked Ariana, "How's it going?" To which she replied, "It's good. I just saw Timothy Chalamet at Obon Pan." Who would have thought to have the charisma of making Ariana Grande's day good? How's it going? It's good. I just saw Timothy Chalamet at Obon Pan, the big dog. <laughs> now it's time for some bonus clips of Timothy Chalamet being thirsted over, and we hope you enjoyed our video as usual. I'm honored to be here to present the Hollywood Film Award for Breakout Performance by an Actor and my personal love letter to an absolutely exquisite artist, Timothy Chalamet. You have a shirt that says uh, Chalamet and Chill. Yeah. Now, yeah. What, what, what is this? Is this Timothy Chalamet? That's right, yeah. I, um, I made that shirt um, because I'm obsessed with Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I'm not alone. No, you're not, alone. not, not alone. alone, not at all, no. He's like uh, Lady Crack. 